In this video, we're going to explore how to use the onClick function in an anchor tag. And it's the most important one because here, there is a tiny discussion regarding to anchor tags and buttons. So you might have wondered, okay, what is the difference and why would you use which one? Well, let me explain here. A link button or a link, you know, in this case, the anchor tag is commonly used for a website link directing to anywhere else. So for Google, or a search engine, when, when they index your website, when they find a anchor tag, they expect to have a link going somewhere else or maybe on the page, jumping to a specific part of the page. Having JavaScript in there is basically unexpected for them. So should you use it there? Many people say better use in a button JavaScript because uh, Google cannot index properly JavaScript and if they see a button, they know it is a something usually connected to JavaScript, like a form, uh, insert form, uh, do something, uh, uh, confirm button, etc., etc. So, however, sometimes it just doesn't work in a button that you will need an anchor tag. So, and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this. So, for example, here we're going. I'm going to make a div here. And this div class will be. Uh, we can call this a box. That's fine. And within this box, we're going to put in here our href or anchor tag. But we need to put in a hashtag here. This is very, very important. And the reason why is if you don't use a hashtag, what will happen is this. If we save this here, and then you can see here right now we have a hashtag. But if we click on that, oh, make sure we save this and refresh. Do we see anything? Not yet, because we have no text. So this is a link. What will happen is you can see, pay attention here, it starts to quickly refresh itself. So if you have a JavaScript in here, this will not work. You need to have an anchor tag here. So once you have the anchor tag, you refresh. Once you click on that, oh, sorry, we click, we refresh it. And once we click on this, pay attention here, it doesn't move. And that's good because what happens now, it just add up here the hashtag. So if we remove that, put an enter, pay attention here. You see the hashtag will, will appear immediately. But this didn't refresh, meaning that if you would have a JavaScript function here, it will not refresh the page because if you use it in a href without this, it will refresh the page and then it will show the JavaScript or, or well, it's supposed to show JavaScript, but because it's refreshed, it go back to default mode. So it will, even if the JavaScript would be first before it shows the href tag, uh, what will happen is the JavaScript might change color for a second and then within the next split, split second, it refreshes the page going back to original state. So this is why you need a hashtag here to avoid the reloading. All right. So once we have this, what we need to do here is just to make a script. And this script tag will basically cover the function that we're going to use with the on click because the on click will be in here to trigger this specific function. So here, if we type in on click equal, and then here double quotations. And then here would be a function. Let's give it a function name. Let's say change color parentheses. Always use parentheses because this is the parentheses. This is the function name. Very important. And then here we say function. And then here this function will be named change color. Why change color? Well, isn't that the one we just selected here? Up? So basically when we click on this, it will say in HTML, it will communicate to JavaScript and say, someone press on this href button. Can you search for, or now we need to search for this function in JavaScript to trigger it, to activate it. That's basically what happens here. This is the communication. So this must be equal to each other. Once you have this here, uh, curly braces, and within here, you can put in whatever you want. So if you want to change a function, we want to ask ourselves where do we want to change the function or change the color? So maybe we have a paragraph here, or there's some text in this box. Uh, we can say this is a text. Oh, sorry, that's not text box. All right. So within this text, not even a paragraph, it's just within this div. We could say and pinpoint that every every text in this div basically get a new color. So let's do this. So we say here, document, oh, not caps lock, but small letters, document, which will say, once we click on this button here, goes trigger this function, and then here, 
go search in the HTML document. Then we say search means query, so query selector, and selector is basically, this is in CSS and JavaScript, the common term, div and the classes, IDs are all selectors. So we say, go to the document, search for this selector, put in string name, and then we have to identify what's the selector. We can say div, but I would not recommend that. It's too general. You should better spin, pinpoint here the box class. So we say dot for class, remember? Just like CSS, dot for class, and then we say box. And once we did that, then we can put in here dot, and then we say in the CSS, of a style because it's a style sheet remember dot color where we so basically we go here in the box selector we're going to select the style and then we're going to select color will be whatever we indicate and color means font color basically and the color will be here quotation because it's a string we can use a hashtag here we can say for example zero zero um five five F9. And I don't know what kind of color it is. It will be probably green and this will be blue. So it will be far more blue with green. So maybe purple. I have no idea. So let's save that. Refresh. All right. So we see that. And then when we click on this, it will be a very light blue color. All right. So that looks quite decent. So this is the way how you use it in a href. Can we do it more easier? Yes, of course we can. We can remove this. Put it in here. This is a string. So basically here, what we do is we create here an argument or a, uh, or a value basically, or and then this argument or parameter, if that's the right term, parameter, goes in here, we'll say here, this will be color or text color, it could be anything. So this is the parameter. And then we put in here the value of this. So what happens is then, because now you have not hard coded anymore, this is soft coded. So if you would have to, click something else you could do as well and we could say here this will be maybe far more brighter this will be a red color something so let's save this so what happens if we click on this we will get this light blue and if we click on this it will be maybe red orange i have no idea it will be a color as well with a high level of red so let's refresh here you click on this it will be blue and once you click on that it will be orange all right so this is basically how it works so you have a dynamic value here thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel